Alright, you guys see this place? Yeah, this is the place that I'm going to be attempting to conquer over the next 100 days. And you see this guy? He's the leader of this kingdom. And along my journey, I'm going to try and take over his castles, take out his army, and create my own empire along the way. This won't be easy. These guys wield battle axes, swords, bows, and are plated with the strongest of armor. Will I be able to survive 100 days? Well, let's find out. This is 100 Days in Medieval Minecraft. Alright, so, day one in this world that will soon be full of war. I checked my surroundings and I could see a nearby village. This place belonged to a faction of Vikings, and if I entered their land, they would come at me with their battle axes. So first things first, I made sure to grab some wood, and then some stone so that I could make some tools to defend myself. If these guys were going to come at me, I was going to need some weapons. This village looked inviting, but I knew that if I was to step foot inside of this place, this would be game over. So instead, I checked out the surroundings, and it seemed, by accident, I went a little bit too close to this place. The Vikings were chasing me. I had to run through the forest to escape. And as I ran, I accidentally ran straight into another one. With almost half of my health taken from one swing, I had no option other than running deeper into the forest. After a while, it seemed the coast was clear. So I took the opportunity to hunt through the grass and take out some chickens. Food of course will be very useful in this, so every single chicken I could kill will help. I ran around for a while, checking this dense forest out. Along the way I spotted a few more groups of vikings lurking behind the stumps. But then came across some stone. This place looked like a ruin. And with me being unsure as to if any soldiers were patrolling this area, I approached cautiously and investigated. All right, what do we have here? This place looks destroyed, to be honest. I don't see anybody or any soldiers. That's quite the fall. Is there a, okay, there's a ladder here. I'll take that down, jump. There we go. All right. Is there any soldiers? Oh, okay, that's a chicken. Okay. All right, there's a chest, but I just want to make sure I'm not going to get attacked here. I'm already quite weak. All right, what do we have? Oh, okay. This is going to be a huge help. Inside of this place had the perfect starter defense kit. A crossbow, arrows, a sword, and some diamonds. Some things that will really help me at the start of my journey. But after realizing that this place was deserted and wasn't going to give me any trouble with soldiers, I decided to gather some stone from this place and cook up my food whilst I had some sort of shelter to protect myself. And then, after spending a night on the cold, ruined castle floor, I set off on day three to continue my adventure. Maybe at some point I can return to this castle and restore it to its previous history, but for now, this place was staying in the past. So off I went again, back out into the forest. I quickly located a small cave that I was able to enter and gather a little bit of coal to help me see through the dark nights in here. And with those dark nights on their way, I chose a spot to bunker down in a dirt hole until I had some armor, better tools, and a shield to defend myself. I made the most basic of holes before starting my descent into the depths of the world, with the ambition of finding some iron to help protect myself. I spent a few days down here going through many pickaxes and digging up a load of iron, before day 11 came around. I resurfaced with what I had, cooked it up, and made myself the armor I needed. Now it was time to head back out into the wild to explore what was out there and to start claiming back this kingdom. Now I won't lie, a guy like me, yeah, I forgot to say the location of that viking village, so I had to spend a little bit too long trying to find it again. And along the way, I came across a new structure in the forest. A new castle was here, but this time it wasn't ruined. This place was thriving with soldiers and loot, but for now, this is definitely something I do not have the right equipment to take on. So I'll come back to this place at a later date. But for now, it was back to the viking village. So I continued through this dense vegetation until finally I arrived back there. Now it was time to take these guys out. All right, here we go. I have got the crossbow. I've got my shield. Where are they at? They gotta be here. All right, in the house. Oh yeah, here we go. 
Right, they've got axes, which makes this shield basically pointless. So let's... Okay, he's doing a bit... He's, okay, he's doing a lot of damage. He's doing a lot of damage. All right, back up. Back up, use the crossbow. Why can't I use my crossbow? Why is that not working? All right, let me just take this guy down with my sword. I think I've left my arrows at home. What have I done? All right, this place is clear. Let's check the chest. Okay, food, lots of it as well. 50 pieces, I'll take that, and some tools. Right, house numero dos. What is in here? Oh, hey, dude. Oh, jump scares everywhere. This guy is not really... Oh, are they... oh damn, he, hit... he... he swings fast. I'm going to shut that door before someone comes in behind me. All right, anything in the chest? Iron. Great help. What else do we have up here, apart from more Vikings? Yep. Oh, okay. Yep. There's quite a few of these guys in here. Oh, oh they're coming down the ladder. What? I didn't know they could... I didn't know these NPCs could go down ladders. Since when? Alright, these guys gotta go down. That's something new. Come on. How much health? These guys have got so much. They're dropping leather though. That's quite helpful. What's in this chest? Cooked duck, a shield, and a heavy plated chest plate. Alright. I, I think that's pretty good. I'm pretty sure that's like what the knights wear. So that's good. Oh, hey dude. There's another one. Another one about to bite the dust. There he goes. All right, come on. Some arrows. Perfect. That's exactly what I need. Perfect. This third house. Well, yeah, that thing was way too crowded with these aggressive Vikings. And I knew if I didn't leave now, this video would end real quick. All right, guys. All right. How many of you are in here? Why are you all crowded in one building? I've got to run. I have got to leave. So I ran into the darkness of the forest once again. And on the way home, I stumbled across the ruined castle from a few days ago. So decided to take cover here for the night to be safe. And then first thing in the morning, I set back off home towards my hole in the ground. Since I wanted to grab my arrows and create a battle axe, so that I can give that village another try and attempt to take them down. So I returned home, gathered some arrows, and then set back off into the world. That Viking village would be the perfect location for me to take over and live in. But first, I need to take down those Vikings that were living inside of it for good, so that I could start the renovations. When I arrived back, it seemed that this place had been taken out by something else whilst I had left. All of those Vikings were gone, apart from a few that were lurking around the edges. I have no idea what killed these things off, but for now, that's not my problem. So I started heading back home to grab my few resources that I do own to transport them over here. I had very few items, so luckily this only took two trips. But now that all of my loot was moved over, I had a village, which could easily be attacked by wandering soldiers, since there's no defenses to block the forest. So with that in mind, I needed a wall to make sure that these enemies would stay out. The trees around here were quite dense, so I had to clear some room and then of course, make a wall. And for that, I needed cobble. So I made a mine inside of the house and started gathering as much cobble as I could with my pickaxes. I was down here for a long time before I resurfaced and started building up my wall. And this took a few days. After adding some small details, fencing and a walk path, my own kingdom was starting to form. But as I'm building here, I want to give a quick thank you to today's sponsor, MC Pro Hosting. I've worked with MC Pro Hosting for nearly two years now, and so many of you guys have gone and used their service to get your own Minecraft server. So if you ever need a Minecraft server, head to the link down below and use code SWORD4000 at checkout to get 25% off your order. Now let's get back to the 100 days. And as I went out to light this place up, it seemed a group of these wandering warriors had rolled through my area. So I had to defend my new castle and take these guys on. Alright, you guys want to come on my land? You're going to taste my crossbow. Here we go. I don't know how many shots it takes to take these guys down. I can see you through there. Okay, I've hit him once. I like this little slot I made. It's, it's helpful. Alright. These guys are starting to get a little bit strong now. I've been out here for a little bit too long. That was the first arrow I blocked, really? Okay. Alright. One down. Another one. Come on. you got to go, man. Oh, okay, hey, 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 right, these guys are starting to do a little bit of damage, and they're not stopping, I need to go back in. These guys were strong, but by using the gate to the full effect, I was able to take each and every one of them down to defend my kingdom for the first time. 
But after building for so long, it was about time for some action. So with that in mind, I wanted to go and attempt to take down another village or castle. So, remember that castle I spotted earlier in this world? Well, it was time to head back to that to see what was inside, and how to best attempt to get in. As I approached, there was quite a few archers at the bottom of the walls in the forest. So, I had to go stealth mode and take these guys out one at a time. Alright, I can see a few of these guys. Is he... Okay, yep. Alright, these walls are tall, but there's still a few... Okay, hey, 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 there's still a few of these archers lurking around here. Need to take those out. Come on. Down there goes one. There was one behind this tree, I think. Yep, there he is. Boom. See you later, buddy. Oh, hey, okay, damn. They shoot quick. Right, there we go. After they were down, I made a quick trip to the front of the castle. It was locked, and inside was countless soldiers ready to take me down as soon as I entered. So, straight away I had to come up with a new plan to take this place down. I started heading home with a new idea in mind. If I could make some TNT, I would be able to place that at the gate and explode my way through the entrance to take down the soldiers. So I started gathering the resources needed for this task, and then the next day I set off to give this castle another try. On my way, I came across a few soldiers in the forest, before finally arriving back here. And as I got back, I spotted a few archers on the walls. So, without alerting the rest of the troops inside of this place, I started landing some shots with my crossbow to take these archers out so that taking over this castle would be much easier. As I got closer, I realised that this mountain was close enough for me to be able to leap onto the castle walls. So, I did, and now it was time to take these guys on hand to hand. Oh, oh, hey dude. All right. This guy needs to go down. I'm using his own sword against him. The loot that they were defending was nothing special, but this was the first chest of hopefully many. So I continued to explore this place, making sure all of the archers and soldiers were taken down from a distance. And the guys below had no idea I was here. I made my way deeper into the castle and found some more loot. And then, as I walked into the courtyard, the entire place turned against me, and all of them were coming for me. So, as they lined up to take me out, I finally had good use for my TNT and dropped it right on top of them. Alright, this is perfect time for me to use my TNT. They're stood right below. Come on. We need this to be big. Take out the main guy, please. No! Oh, Alright, the rest of them are down, but he is still there, and my arrows aren't working. But now I had another problem. The leader. Well, yeah, he's immune to arrows, so if I want to take him down, I have to go down and hit him with my axe. Here we go, come on. I need to take down the little guy for- oh, oh, he's down! He's down! Alright, that TNT must have done a lot of damage. Alright, now we've just got a few of these random soldiers left around. Let's take these guys down. Finally, he was down, and with this place completely cleared out for good, it was time to make a quick sweep around the entire castle and retrieve all of the loot that was inside. This was mainly a lot more iron, weapons, and armor. So with the best of what was to offer in my inventory, it was time to leave with everything I had and head home. So when I woke up the next morning, the action wasn't over yet. Since when I was at the castle the night before, I spotted a tower in the distance midway through the attack. Which of course, I was a little bit preoccupied to go and explore at the time. So today, I set off to try and track down that tower and see what it was all about. I made my way through the forest again and eventually stumbled across it. Unsure what lay within, I was cautious, but this place was the same as the castle. The door was locked, and it was filled with soldiers, so these guys were unable to stop me from checking out the outside. However, as I looked inside, this place was filled with castle leaders. There was actually not a single regular soldier in sight, meaning that if I was to take this place on, I would need much better weaponry and armor, since these guys have so much health and as mentioned earlier, I cannot hit them with a bow. So with that in mind, I decided to move along from this place and continued my adventure, since I wanted to see what else laid in the depths of this biome whilst trying to hunt down some cows for leather. Because if I want to take that place on, I'm going to need some enchanted weapons. I ran around for quite a while, and even spent a night away from home in a random campsite I found. Until on day 39, I found this. That's right, another viking village. I can only assume that these guys were angry at the previous attack I did on their friends, so I had to be confident and go straight at them to take them down. Come on, let's take you on. Let's do this. You're down. You're doing a little bit of damage, but not too much. There we go. 
All right, you're on your own as well. Let's take you out. Another one about to bite the dust. This axe is so good. Look at that. Two hits. Finished. Wait, what's, what are they? All right, you got four or five of you here. You guys aren't going to take me down. I'll fight all night if I have to. You are not going to... It's not going to happen. Let me switch back to my battle axe. This, this saber's doing nothing. There we go. So with another Viking village taken down, it was time to continue my efforts and try and find some more leather. And get this. I found the jackpot on this adventure. Cows. 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 And more cows. I found so many of these guys and was able to stop my search and get back home on day 44 with more leather than I should need on this entire 100 days adventure. So with all of the leather in the bag, it was time for sugarcane, since I only have three pieces. And I definitely can't make an entire enchanting setup with three pieces of sugarcane. So it was time for a farm, which I had to spend days on days on days, farming over and over again, until I finally had all of the bookshelves needed to complete my enchanting setup. This task was done, and now I was able to enchant all of my armor and tools. But before I was able to put these weapons to use, I wanted to make a quick addition to my kingdom. The longer I stay here, the more soldiers show up and try to attack my walls and kill me. So I wanted to make a watchtower that allows me to get the high ground on these guys and then take them out with my crossbow. So that's exactly what I started working on, which finally on day 52 was finished, and I was able to look out over the short distance to look for soldiers coming towards my base. And now this was done, it was time to put my newly enchanted armor to the test. It was time to take on the night tower, to try and gain the loot from within. Hey boys, I'm back. All right, let's take that out. All right, they're coming for me. Does the crossbow work on me? Oh, it does. Okay, the crossbow does do damage, but the bow doesn't. All right, I am just going to take these guys out one at a time. All right, there's only one left. There's so much armor on the floor. Hey, there we go. All right, it's nearly dark already. All right, give me all the XP. How many chest plates? Wow. This place is cool. All right. Oh, hey, one more. One more inside of here. You can say hello to my little friend, also known as my battle axe. Yo, he's tanking shots. Come on, man. If he hits me, he's going to do a lot of damage, so I need to be careful here. Get the shield up. There we go. Boom. Nice. So finally, with this place taken down and the entire tower being reclaimed, it was time to head home through the dark with all of the new armor pieces and riches that I got from this place. Now, with all of the structures I have found over the last 52 days, not a single one has had a villager inside. And for XP and emeralds, a villager would be really nice for me to have, so that I could trade for those items. So on day 53, I set off on a long adventure to try and find a village. When I say this was a long adventure, well, I mean it. I had no indication as to where to look, so just headed out into the unknown. But on day 55, I found a familiar sight. As you guys now know, this is a viking village, but since this isn't my priority at the moment, I decided not to venture inside, but of course, I had to take something. Alright, they're coming for me, but I'm gonna try and trap one in. I've got the cage trap, come on. Oh! I got him! Wait. So is that- do I actually have one here? Viking 1! It worked! Alright, he's been he's taken as a prisoner. I may have just completely stolen one of their vikings as a prisoner, and taken him along with me for the rest of my journey. Which continued for a few more days, tackling the cold weather, until finally on day 58, I came across an arctic village. Alright, what is here? Th that's a moose. Alright, that looks actually pretty cool, but is there anything else here? There's a house. I'm definitely going to take those bookshelves that I can see. So I'll steal those, because I'll probably need them at some point. Alright, out we go. There is a moose just, just chilling there. Um, anything else here? We might as well try and trap one of these guys in now, if I can get him down. Hey, get in. Boom. Look at that. Easy as anything. These cage traps are so convenient. Is this guy going to want to get in as well? You're a farmer. I don't know if he's going to come with the job, but we can try. Just get in the trap. Uh, okay, no, maybe not. I have to replace that somewhere else or try somebody else. This guy is jobless and he's in the cage. Perfect. So I just went around using my cages to trap in as many villagers as I could, and as many as I could was three, since I only had three cage traps. However, three will be enough for me to breed them once I am home. So after getting the villagers, I continued to explore this little village. Potatoes and carrots. Oh, 
What are you? Oh! Oh, 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 sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sorry. Hey, use the battle axe. Oh! You just dropped a full set of chainmail armor. Alright, I'll take that. Anything else in here? An igloo with some snowballs and bread. Nice. And some potatoes. Oh, there's another guard. Oh, my. Oh, hey. Oh, okay. <laughs> you just got one shot. All right. Give me that shield. Nothing else here that I think that I need. All right. I got what I needed. It's starting to go dark. I'm probably going to farm this up, get a good night's sleep, and then head home. Whilst I was here, I stole some loot, villagers, and killed some guards. But now that I had what I needed a villager, it was time to straight line mission my way home with the goods and start trading. And after many long days and nights of travel, I returned home with my trapped villagers and was able to give them their own home. Okay, so all of these villagers, if we just spread them out so the traps will open, if we just click them, there we go, we have the villagers. All right, and he kept his job. Interesting. All right, I didn't expect that. Right, I'll pick these back up. We just need some Fletcher tables now. I don't know how I'm going to lose this guy, his job. If I go up here for a sec, go back down. Yes, he's a Fletcher. All right. He's got bad trades, though. Let's swap this out. Let's give it another try. Is he going to go again? Come on. Boom. Sticks. There we go. So now I just need some wool for beds. Hey, finally. Some sheep. All right. Let me shear these guys. There's only a few, so I'm going to have to shear these guys a few times. At least I finally got some. At least I can now actually breed my villagers. What a relief. All right, beds are going down. Here we go. Villagers, do your thing. I need to come back to some babies. So now that I had all of these villagers ready to trade, I needed wood and lots of it so that I could turn it all into sticks and trade it all to get XP and emeralds. I didn't spend too much time doing this since I was able to quite easily get wood. But after trading for the entire day and getting a load of XP, it was time to start spending it. So I made myself a brand new diamond battle axe and headed over towards the enchantment table to upgrade it. Let's get this thing enchanted. It is time. I have my levels. Let's get it done. Looting three and poison cloud. Yes. It's time to put this thing to use. I am going back out. I'm going in the wild. I'm going to try and find something. Off I went back out into the wilderness to try and locate some sort of life. As usual, it took me a while before I came across anything, traveling through the thick forests, walking past structures I had already taken down. But on day 70, I found a brand new castle. What even is this place? This is a huge castle. There is a big door as well. And I can see guys in there. There's quite a few of them. Is there a way in here? Here we go. Come on. Yes. Boom. We made it. All right, there's a guy right here. Is he gonna, he's not even acknowledge me yet. Or, okay, he was clearly blind. There's another one down there, but empty chest, all right. We can go up. I wonder if there's a chest up here. Down you go, come on. Hit, there we go. Okay, perfect. Anybody else around here? There's another guy on that other wall, but we can try and avoid him. What's down here? Just very dark hallways. Interesting. All right, we'll go over here. There's a door. I don't, I don't know where this door goes to. Oh, we're on the other side of the- Oh, hey, dude! Okay, please don't alert the rest of your gang that I'm here. Please don't- Why- Why can't I hit you? Okay, there we go. Right, they don't realize I'm here. Oh, yes, they do! Oh, yeah, they do. Oh, no. Please. Guys, I'm here. I was gonna say I'm here for peace, but I'm gonna have to kill you if you come at me like that. Come on, man. Get away from me. Stay away! Oh! There's a lot of them coming for me. I'm gonna have to bail. I'm gonna have to bail. Ooh. Okay. How are they? Oh, oh, he's right behind that door. Oh! Man, oh man. There's a few of you guys in here. Luckily, these guys are pretty dumb. Oh, they're doing a lot of damage right now. Hey, dude, chill. There we go. There's still loads of them in this little courtyard. And I see some knights back there as well. I can't see. Oh, okay. There's a few more of these. Hey, guys. Give me a break. I'm gonna have to run to the door again. Ah, oh, they just keep appearing from the grass. There's so many of them in here. And the archers as well. Look at them keeping their distance. They'll, they, they, they got a good shot. I give them that. I want to know what's inside of this house. Why are these guys protecting this so much? It's got to be something in here, right? Oh, oh, I didn't mean to let them out. Oh, no. Oh, no. Right, poison them. Poison them and run. Poison them and run. Just keep running. Golden apple and run. Golden apple and run. Run, 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 run. Oh, come on. Hey, dude. You want to eat this bolt? <laughs> I didn't think you did. 
But you're going down anyway. See you later, buddy. Okay, what is in here? Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. We're gonna have to go down. Oh no, there's a knight as well. All right, what do I do here? I gotta run. Don't kill me. Just let me steal your loot without any problems. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. They just keep coming from everywhere. These guys literally don't stop. But the shield can... How are they still hitting me through the shield? The shield broke. The shield has broke. I've got to go. I can't... Okay, is that it? Is he down? I am not going to be able to take more of these guys out without a shield. Surely not. Okay, the poison took that guy out. The chest is empty. There's more guys out there. This is really for nothing. Shut the gate. Shut that. Don't want any more guys in here. Another empty chest, of course. Nothing. Any more people up here? Please say no. Please say no. I think the coast is clear. And what do we have here? Apples. <gasps> okay, that is good. That is good. An enchanted golden apple. Yes. Give me that. And a bunch of food. Yes, please. Give it me all, all of it. Give me it all. Some cake. I'll eat up on that. What's in this other chest? Come on. More apples. No, more golden apples. Yes. Perfect. Not enchanted, but I don't care. I'm going to take it. Thank you. All right. This place was worth it. That golden apple could really help me. I've got another, like, what? 30 days or something to, to go? Some stuff up here as well. This chest. Oh! A gun? Um, what can I get rid of here? Seeds. Egg can go. I'll take the bullets. A Cornethian helmet. I don't know what that is. I'm just having the gun. A musket with bayonet. Is there anything else up here? There's another chest. A battle axe. I don't need that. I got a diamond one now. Anything else? A gladio. Just looks like a regular sword. Now, what is this? A musket with bayonet. Oh! Okay, this thing shoots. This is a gun. This is a, a working gun. Pretty much like my crossbow, but it seems really slow. There's a guy out here. Let's test it on him. Come on. Oh! Okay, yeah. It hits. It definitely hits, but it's got a very slow speed. I can punch with it, but the reload speed is really slow. The accuracy, though. Whew. This is good. Oh! Oh! Okay, no. Guys, I'm going. Please, please stop. Let me free. Just let me through this door. I'll take you guys out with my musket and bayonet, but I'm going to go after this. These guys just keep coming. Up the ladder. I'm going now, I think. Screw this. They're coming up the ladder. No, goodbye. I'm just going to go up. I'm going to get away from these guys. I'm going to go up. There's guys up here, isn't there? I can already tell. I saw the axe. Oh, yeah, there's quite a few guys up here as well. And I have no shield. Okay, just keep walking around. Avoid them. Let the poison do its damage. There's one. There's two. Come on, one more, one more. There we go. Oh. All right, well, the sun's going down as well. Okay, that's where I came in. So I need to go back down that way. The towers are clear. The house is clear. It's time to go. I think I'm going to spend one more night here. And then... Goodbye, castle. You've, you've been nice. But it's, it's time for me to go. So, after taking down yet again another castle, it was time to head home. But since I was not close, I had quite the journey ahead once again. So, off I went through the days and nights before I finally returned home on day 74. So, now let's take a step back. Remember on day two, I found this place. It was a ruined castle, and inside, well, inside was nothing. But back then, I mentioned that I wanted to possibly come back here at some point and restore the history of this place and bring the castle back to life. So now that I have already taken down quite a few castles on my own and have started my own villager population within my walls, I thought now was the perfect time to rebuild this old castle and turn it into a trading market for my villagers. So for that, I needed lots of cobblestone, wood, and tools. But then, I got to work. Since this place was in such ruins, I spent most of my time remodeling this place back to its original form. And that's when this happened. Right, uh, oh. Hey. Why are you... I wasn't expecting to see some pillagers today. Okay, let's take this guy down. There we go. Voluntary exile. We can do a raid. I don't want to do a raid, but we can do one. Just got to take these guys down now. There we go. Oh, that was easy. All right, back to building. Oh, no. 
Oh, I forgot I had Bad Omen. I completely forgot I had the Bad Omen effect, and then started a raid at my own castle by accident. So I had no other option than to take this attack head on. They are all lining up on the walls. I don't know why, but this is perfect aim practice with my crossbow because I'm really bad. So this is this is good practice. Okay, where is the last two? Oh, oh yeah, that's a big Bertha. That that's gonna that's gonna do some damage. I need to come on, barbed wire, do the job. Yes, it's doing damage. Nice. I, okay, yep. Yeah, can't go too close or else this guy is gonna kill me. Might have to take him out from a distance. Yeah, definitely. Oh, Bob Wyatt took care of him. Nice. Oh, what a shot. What a shot. Come on. Oh, there we go. Nice. He was quick. First totem. It's about time. I think these are the last two. But I'm not sure. I don't want to die here, so I need to be careful. No, 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 no. Oh, I can't. No. Okay. I can't die on the last wave. I'm pretty sure this is the last wave. Come on, witch. You want to die? There we go. Oh my god, I nearly died on the last wave. That was close. So with the raid taken down, it was right back to building, since I had a castle to refurbish. Since I had already built for so long, and I still had so much work to do. So I continued to build up the walls and the towers, and then it was time for the interior, which I turned into a villager market stall, so that I can put my villagers in here, and then trade with them. And when this place was finally complete, it was time to trap in some villagers and transport them to the newly refurbished castle so that I could re-trap them in over there and start trading with them again. Fletcher table is down, cage trap, let's just put it there and open it up. And there we go, two villagers in. We can trade, I just need to get my trap back. So after spending a while trading, it turned to day 89. And well, I forgot to mention a very important part to this challenge. Remember this guy? In the intro, I said he was the leader of this kingdom. Well, if I don't kill him by day 95, every single soldier in this world will hunt me down and try to kill me before day 100, no matter where I am. And from all of the structures I had located up to now, he wasn't at any of those. So on day 89, it was time for me to set off one more time to try and find him before it was too late. Luckily this time, I wasn't having to search for too long before I came across a new building. But this castle was no joke. It seemed I could have hit the jackpot. This place was huge, and whatever was inside was guarded by a load of these soldiers. So I knew if I was going to take this place down, I had to be confident. I could see something. What is it? That, okay, that is a big castle. Yeah. Okay, the entrance looks clear. Oh, oh here we go. First soldier. Hey, dude. Easy. Easily taken down. There's his friend. Come on. It should be easy as well. Here we go. Nice and easy. Let's get this totem ready, just in case. Alright, what's inside up here? Oh! Oh! Oh, just two? Okay, I can take care of two. This poison gas is so helpful. Although they're doing quite a bit of damage, I'm just gonna run, use this little gate as safety. Take them out with the crossbow. Oh, his friend died to the poison. Okay, what's up this tower? Aha! Oh, this is it. This is what we're after. This is what we've been looking for in these castles. The treasure room. All of the gold, diamonds, iron. Finally. Oh! Oh, no! Oh, no, 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 no. Run, 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 run. Okay, safe. Let's heal up. Take a breather. Is he there? Oh! Oh! No, no, no! Oh, God. Get me out. 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 I'm going. Screw this, I'm out. So with this place not being home to the king I was looking for, it was time to head home in defeat. And now spend the next five days defending my castle from the hundreds of soldiers that would be working their way towards me. The first thing I did when I arrived home was head out and start deforesting the trees around my land. If this place was open, I can better see my enemies coming towards me. And then I will be able to fill this field with barbed wire so that the soldiers will have an extra hard time getting towards me. And now with the entire area open, it was time to add the wires in. As expected along the way, I was troubled by a few soldiers that had already made their way over, but these were easily taken care of. And now with this entire field being filled with the barbed wire, defending this place should be so much easier. But then after many days, and more days, 
and more days of defending my castle, I was inside of my house dropping off some loot, and this happened. What was that? I just heard an explosion. That is not good. Where the hell was that? What's going on? Oh! Oh, it's here. What blew up? I need to enchant my crossbow because these things are getting a little bit too strong now. Multi shot, I'll take it. Oh! Oh no! Oh no! I. I don't. What? What bucket? What bucket? Okay. Whew. Oh! That is the closest I've been yet, I think. Half a heart or whatever I was on. Oh my. Get him gone. Get out of here, dude. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Trap the door. Okay. I think we're good. Somehow these guys exploded their way into my castle. I had no choice but to take them down and hold strong. But then we made it. Day 100 had been reached. But even though I was unsuccessful in taking down the king of this land, I was able to reclaim castles, towers, empires, and even rebuild some of the history of this land during these 100 days. So if you enjoyed this and want to join me on my future adventures through different times in Minecraft, subscribe. It's completely free. And I hope to see you all at the next journey. Peace.